hey guys welcome back so today we are going to discuss about uh, one of the important topic which is uh, error handling so basically yeah i have uh, given some examples for you over the uh, past week like uh, there are uh, code examples also i have attached in the description from youtube you might have got few examples but the thing is i i did not uh, i didn't do the uh, error handling there actually even in this program i didn't do i'm not doing anything uh, that to error handling uh, if you watched my previous video uh, there also like uh, i got a crash because then i i just try to attach a process and uh, try to debug the program and, and try to refer the example uh, ufunk uh, uh, program then i got to know some some kind of uh, okay uh, uh, idea okay what could be the possible error then as as i already know i have came through all these things so i i got to know okay it's fine uh, let's change few parameters a few things so i was easily done but as a beginner uh, if if you are starting new so it's like it's it's very difficult for you to fix some simple errors right so that's why I'm, I'm I was actually planned this session a little earlier, but I forgot somehow. Um, it's okay. Let's uh, get started. So let's go back. I have a link. This is a, a C sharp like. Anyway, we are using C sharp in in our program, so we are going with the C sharp error handling first. So it's like uh, in usually in C sharp, uh, these are uh, the exceptions. They call uh, these are the exceptions. Uh, in order to handle uh, the errors, you need to have a few basic functions. Uh, like uh, there are uh, some uh, some syntax are there in uh, in in C sharp. So which is which will be like uh, a protection to your your execution the the code and everything like it will be a very good idea to implement all these things even i am planning to implement it in in the coming videos if i <laughs> if i remember all these things it's fine so but it's a it's a good practice to implement all this uh try catch uh, blocks or, or in your all functions okay so basically this is our main function so we have to use uh, some kind of uh, c chart uh, error handling methods here using these syntax okay so let's use it let's 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 get some error let's get, get into some error first then we will see how badly we uh, we have we are into the code and we are we are into the error so there are basically two types of error so which will be uh, compile time and run time or you can say it's a build build error or, or it's a runtime error so while you are program uh, executing there will be error like a crash like uh, what we have seen in previous video or some kind of compilation error itself which 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 will be uh, letting you to know uh, what is the problem it won't even uh, don't even allow you to compile it so which is good actually the, the build time errors the compile time errors both are same which is good so uh, you will be knowing okay this is not uh, going to build itself so which means it, it needs your attention you need to fix it then only it will build then only you will have your dll or ex uh, to attach with uh, nx so what is meant by compile time error let's see okay let's suppose in this function i'm just uh, typing something or just type equal. so no overload method get session takes one argument okay if i try to compile or try to build it just says failed this is a compile time which is build time error okay compile time build time both are same i'm going to use uh, any, any of these uh, words uh, okay in the throughout this video so no overload method method oh sorry no overload for method get session takes one argument let's go and check the definition if you see here 
there is nothing here there is no uh, arguments here so but here there are some arguments so what we did is we tried to pass something which is not uh, allowed by the definition of this function so we can't even compile this program even if you can try here also again it says no okay so you can try uh, all this stuff so okay it's 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 uh, quite easy to get the compile time error because mostly it will it will get you the things before even uh, going to attach your uh, things to nx go to nx okay it's fine but the the runtime error which is your hidden enemy so the thing is you need to handle it using this this try catch but you have to handle anyway even your compile time or runtime you have to use these blocks to to make sure that your program is uh, uh, well structured as well as uh, you are actually uh, following the standards of uh, c sharp and everything so it's it's kind of normal coding standard so any programming language if you take they should be using all kind of this uh, error handling methods okay if you type error handling in c sharp you will get a lot of things you can just go through whichever suits you you can go through the link so uh, i felt this this link seems to be a simpler one so i'm i'm because i as you guys are beginners so i thought of uh, taking the, this link as an example from this w3 schools okay <laughs> okay let's try to get our uh, crash that is our runtime error okay okay i am just going to reduce my array length to two okay let's build control b it succeed because compile time it doesn't know what kind of uh, uh, what, what is the size of this array so it just compiles okay thinking that you you, you made a successful uh, declaration of array size so let's go back to U ug Okay, I think it's just opening now. So basically, it will give uh, the index out of uh, box like uh, this. This array we are saying that uh, only two uh, allocation, like only two variables, we can we can uh, assign a value to it. But we are here using the third uh, value, which is not even allocated uh, here so we are occupying the space which is not even there so something like that so this will get us a crash okay let's see okay that's it taking some time direction we have okay yeah this is also one of the easiest way to declare and uh, initialize the values like here you can see i, I declared like three and uh, from, from zero one two i i i made a uh, values here like for each question here this also is yeah, same way like you can use either one of this okay it's uh, it's more like the same so it's easy it's a single line you can you can do everything so it's it's easy so just a one line okay let me just uh, okay, anyway if you run it will you'll get an error see there is an error without uh, handling we are getting this error so our program uh, has thrown some error so so we have to change it okay we don't know we don't have to change it we need to go with the try class black okay let's try i will put it for the whole function so curly braces okay if you can see we just the try try block is here okay yeah whenever uh, you introduce try you, you introduced try 
there is a compare them error which is expected catch or finally you have to introduce your catch or else finally both are fine because uh, this is the default syntax you can say just like uh, like the standard they are maintaining so if, if the program finds a try block it expects a catch or finally block you can use any of that i will show you so catch exception you can give any name ex is uh, just a simpler format i'm giving so yeah now you can see the error has gone i this is just a warning because ex we, we didn't use anything so what we can do here is uh, we can print this error somewhere let me check if i have the system windows forms it's not there let's add because i want to show it somewhere like like a message box i want to show the error so that's why i'm going with the system dot windows dot forms which will give me the access to the user interface kind of uh, dialogs okay i think i need to import the windows forms here to get the access to message box okay or message okay in this external class object will hold this message actually so it will be displayed in a message box okay, okay it's running let's execute again see there is a message the proper message index was outside the bounds of the array okay so the thing is uh, it was not showing any 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 like ugly things like uh, program has stopped and uh, some uh, error with the main function something like that it won't show whatever you are trying to uh, whatever it is it is getting here the what what type of error it will definitely get the same <laughs> description of the particular error okay so you can try to debug and you can try to uh, it's error okay that's how it works okay the same way similar way you can you can try uh, erasing one of these uh, values and you can try these values with uh, different uh, numbers and you can try anything like this is uh, just a starting point you can try uh, yeah that's it i guess uh, if there is like there are so many types of error and yeah i missed uh, this one finally finally this block will be always get executed like even if, if 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 there is no error whatever you write here it will get executed suppose i'm writing here i'm going to write successful okay it's a string we need to catch okay that's well now we will get the message like successful it's successful because we already fixed this one error because we changed it to three again okay. now this block gets exhibited okay that's how it is you can use only finally yeah that's of course it's possible you can just comment it out and it will not show any error will this succeed okay that's fine but but it always recommended to use this catch block along with uh, finally okay so try to use this okay guys see you with uh, another bunch of uh, tutorials in coming days thank you Bye-bye.